a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Vinny Paz Vincenzo Luvineri, better known as Vinny Paz, is an Italian-American rapper and the lyricist behind the Philadelphia underground hip-hop group Jedi Mind Tricks. He is also the frontman of the hip-hop supergroup Army of the Pharaohs. He released his first solo album, Season of the Assassin in 2010. This was 18 years after Paz had originally started rapping. He released his second album God of the Serengeti in October 2012. In 2013, Paz confirmed that was working with Army of the Pharaohs to release in Death Reborn, which was released in 2014. October 22nd. 2013 marked the release date of his second EP, Carry On Tradition. His third solo LP The Cornerstone of the Corner Store was released on October 28, 2016. Early career, 1992-1997 Paz was born in Sicily, Italy, where he lived for a short time before moving with his family to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He has both Italian and American citizenship. During the early 1990s, Paz realized he had a passion for music, and started rapping at the age of 16, originally taking the pseudonym, Iconoclast. Paz originally started rapping with fellow Jedi Mind Tricks member Stoop in his basement. In 1996, Vinny Paz released the Amber Pro BP. This was the debut EP from the duo and it was released in 1996. It featured guest appearance from The Lost Children of Babylon. It was in 1997. Jedi Mind Tricks released their debut album. The Psychosocial, Chemical, Biological and Electromagnetic Manipulation of Human Consciousness. The group only consisted of Vinnie Paz and Stoop the Enemy of Mankind at this time and featured Apathy, Joala, and Black Thought. From Icon to Vinnie, forming Aot, Violent by Design, 1998-2002. In 1998, Paz formed Army of the Pharaohs. Paz formed the horrorcore outfit with the original roster of Bahamadia, Chief Comanche. Virtuoso, Seven Liters and Esoteric, plus Jedi Mind Tricks other members Stoop the Enemy of Mankind and Juala. The group first released the Five Perfect Exertions and War Ensemble 12 on Paz's short-lived recordings in 1998, but then the underground supergroup remained silent for several years. Together they released the Five Perfect Exertions. In 2000, Vinnie Paz, along with Jedi Mind Tricks, Released his second album, Violent by Design, Stoop and Vinny recruited Camden, New Jersey rapper Juala to join them on the album, and while he was never inducted into the group, it can be assumed he became Jmt's third member on the release, as his contributions were not marked as, featuring Juala, while other close group affiliates such as Army of the Pharaohs members Chief Comanche, Esoteric and Virtuoso were marked as featured guests, on the album. Icon the Verbal Hologram changed his name to Vinnie Paz, after the Rhode Island box of Vinnie Bonsienza. Visions of Gandhi, Legacy of Blood and Collaborations, 2003-2006 In 2003, Jedi Mind Tricks released their third studio album, Visions of Gandhi. The album title was inspired by Foxy Brown's verse on the song, Affirmative Action from Nas' 1996 album It Was Written, in which she raps, they praise Allah with visions of Gandhi. Vinnie Paz explained that it was, always something that stuck in my head, but I never applied it to anything. Then I thought with everything going on in Palestine, the war with Iraq, mummy is in jail. I just felt this is a time right now that the world and society need someone like Gandhi. So visions of Gandhi just kind of reflects that. In the following year they released Legacy of Blood. In 2005, Paz shifted his focus back onto the supergroup Army of the Pharaohs. They worked to release their debut album, The Torture Papers. It was released on March 21, 2006 on Baby Grand Records. After the release of this Paz went back to his group Jedi Mind Tricks and worked on fifth studio album, Servants in Heaven, Kings in Hell. It was released September 19, 2006 through Baby Grand Records. In 2006, Vinnie Paz released his first solo album, The Sound and the Fury. It featured guest appearance from Apathy, 
and Outer Space. It was hosted by DJ Question and had 19 tracks. Ritual of Battle, A History of Violence, The Unholy Terror and Solo Career, 2007-2010. Pars got together members of Army of the Pharaohs to release their second album, Ritual of Battle. It was released September 21, 2007 on Baby Grand Records. The album's first single was, Bloody Tears, featuring Planetary. Dope Nixon, Demos, Vinny Parson was produced by DJ Question. The song was based on the Castlevania tune of the same name. On November 11, 2008, Jedi Mind Tricks released their sixth studio album, A History of Violence. The album sold 4,451 units in its first week out. Just like most albums, it was released on Baby Grand Records. The album followed multiple summer releases from the Jedi Mind Tricks camp, including the group's first DVD, titled Divine Fire, The Story of Jedi Mind Tricks, and the Vinnie Paz executive produced projects Jedi Mind Tricks Presents Dope Nixon, Sour Diesel, Jedi Mind Tricks Presents King Sis, The Labor Union, and Jedi Mind Tricks Presents Outer Space, God's Fury. In 2010, The Unholy Terror was released. It is the third studio album by Army of the Pharaohs. The release date was March 30, 2010. But the album was released early on March 19, 2010 on Up.com. It was released through Baby Grand Records and through Paz Zone Enemy Soil. It was during this time Paz released his debut solo album, Season of the Assassin. Many critics said the album was a step forward for Paz as an artist. Not only has he all but perfected his grimy braggadocio, but he also exhibits unique storytelling abilities that will make critics who dismiss him as just another hardcore rapper bite their tongues clean off," said Sean Ryan, writer of Hip Hop. It was supposed to be called Assassin's Creed, but Paz changed it due to legal issues with Ubisoft. The release date for the album was on June 22, 2010. A few months later, Paz released The Prayer for the Assassin EP. The EP contained four remix tracks from Season of the Assassin and a music video for the track Keep Moving On. It was only available for digital download and was released on 26 October 2010. Violence Begets Violence and God of the Serengeti, 2011-2012 in 2011, Jedi Mind Tricks released their seventh studio album Violence Begets Violence. It is the first Chimti album without the production help of Stoop the Enemy of Mankind, because Vinnie Paz and Juala grew tired of waiting. Paz stated, By now you have heard that this is the first Jedi Mind Tricks album we've made without Stoop handling the production. The bottom line is that at some point after making our last album, a history of violence, Stoop lost his passion for making hip-hop and wanted to try new things. Through our career, we've always waited on him to get inspired to make a new album, but this time around we got tired of waiting out his creative drought. He tried to produce some things for this new album, but we could tell early on that his heart wasn't in making Jmti records anymore. He's moved on as a producer to work in other genres with his side projects, Dutch and Vespertina and we've moved on with a new crop of talented producers to make the hardcore hip-hop we've always been known for. Paz released his second studio album, God of the Serengeti, on October 22, 2012. This effort followed up 2010's season of The Assassin. Nick Demolina, said, while Paz's raspy flow and violent imagery are generally coherent and amusing enough, there are a few head scratches sprinkled throughout. Such as, I don't believe in crying at all slash I'm a manic depressive. Never get excited at all. And, the Bible is gone slash you are watching a Viking perform, on, cheese steaks. While God of the Serengeti doesn't blaze any new ground, it is a release that will hold up to the past's legacy on the underground scene and will surely satisfy longtime fans. Digital Dynasty 23, Carry On Tradition, In Death Reborn, Heavy Lies the Crown and the Thief and the Fallen, 2013 present. In 2013, it was announced that the Digital Dynasty would continue once more with another host from Philadelphia. Following from Digital Dynasty 22, which was hosted by Freeway, Digital Dynasty 23 was hosted by Vinnie Paz. 
It was released on January 31, 2013. Army of the Pharaohs released two albums in 2014, In Death Reborn on April 22, 2014, and Heavy Lies the Crown on October 21, 2014. In 2014, Stoop returned to Jedi Mind Tricks while Juala had left the group again. On June 2, 2015 they released their eighth studio album called The Thief and the Fallen, which was fully produced by Stoop. Jedi Mind Tricks Paz formed Jedi Mind Tricks with high school friend Stoop the Enemy of Mankind, a producer and DJ also from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in 1993. They released their first EP in 1996 called Amber Probe through the label Super Regular Records, which featured three original tracks, two remixes and one instrumental all produced by Stoop the Enemy of Mankind. Jedi Mind Trick's first official album came out the following year. It was called The Psychosocial, Chemical, Biological and Electromagnetic Manipulation of Human Consciousness, The Psychosocial, for short. The album originally sold 1,000 vinyl copies through Super Regular Records, but was re-released in 2003 to combine for 25,000 sales. The album focuses mostly on astronomy, history and physics. Heavy Metal Kings Heavy Metal Kings is a group featuring veteran rappers Il Bill and Vinnie Paz. In 2006, Il Bill was featured on the single, Heavy Metal Kings, by hip-hop duo Jedi Mind Tricks, released through Baby Grand Records. The single was released in a limited edition blue vinyl pressing, with every copy signed by group vocalist Vinnie Paz. The duo came together after Ill Bill was featured on Jedi Mind Tricks single titled Heavy Metal Kings back in 2007. The pair released their self-titled debut collaboration album in 2011, Heavy Metal Kings. More releases including Black God White Devil in 2017 and Heavy Metal Kings vs DJ Muggs. Solo Albums Vinny released his debut solo album Season of the Assassin on June 21, 2010, which peaked at number 25 on the US Billboard rap charts. The album featured guest appearances from Paul Wall Illinois Bill, Clips among others. Vinny was working on his second solo album God of the Serengeti, which featured production from DJ Premier, Psycho Lay, C. Lance, among others. It was officially released on 22, October 2012, on June 21. Paz released the first video from the album, for the single, Cheese Steaks. The music video for, The Oracle, was released a month after the release of the album on 15, October 2012. His second extended play titled Carry On Tradition was released on October 29, 2013, via his own Enemy Soil record label. Themes and Personal Views Paz is known for his raw and gritty lyrical delivery. His lyrics frequently contain references to religion, war, politics, mythology, conspiracy theories, and the paranormal. His more recent albums such as Servants in Heaven Kings in Hell show a more obvious approach to politics and world issues. This gritty style of Paz became apparent with the release of Violent by Design, and has become progressively more defined since its release. Vinny Paz has a number of aliases, such as, Icon of Verbal Hologram, Louis Dogs, Box Cutter Pazzy, Pack Pistol Pazzy, Hologram, Paz, Vinny P. The Pasmanian Devil, O Drama Vin Laden, Icon of Python, and Bonciensa. Raised Catholic, Vinny Paz is now a Muslim, which plays a major role in much of his lyrics, often controversially, as on Heavenly Divine. Where he rapped, I'm with Allah cause he chose me, I broke into the Vatican, strangled the Pope with his rosary. Vinny is also a heavy metal fan, and occasionally uses song titles and band names in chanty tracks and lyrics. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?